you guys, welcome back to DIY Dreams episode 3. Now, if you haven't seen episode 1 or episode 2, go check it out on my YouTube channel. I will link my Wix site and my YouTube channel all in the description box down below for you to go check out and see. Now, without further ado, I would like to tell you what we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to be showing you my glitter jars. As I said, that is all on my Wix site. Um, my glitter jars are pretty much a snow globe, pretty much, but full of glitter and fun. I'm also going to be showing you two other ways to use jars around your house. So like a pasta jar or maybe even a jar of jam that you might have and you don't know how to use them. There's a lot of ways that you can use them, but this is just three ways in the video that you can use them. So I hope you enjoy and on to the video. So the very first step to making this glitter jar is obviously we're going to need some type of glitter. I'm going to be using silver glitter, um, a darker blue glitter, more of a um, lighter blue glitter, a yellow and then a red, and then I have my jar. I've actually painted the top of my jar black. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. As long as it's not, like there was a big white blob on the top, so uh, I just tried to clear it up a bit. And I have my water over in the corner, so I think we're all ready to go. So the very first step is we're actually not going to be adding the glitter first. So I'm just going to move this over to the side. If we're going to be focusing on the jar. We're going to take off the lid of our jar. I've already cleaned mine, so it's perfectly clean. I recommend cleaning it because, as I said, these jars can be filled of who knows what, jam, peanut butter, pickles, yeah, so you want to make sure they're clean. And right here, I have a little bit of water. To be exact, I'm using two cups. It might not be perfect, but we're going to try and fill it um, around three-fourths of the way full. Um, so that's like just estimating around here. And so, yeah, we're just going to add our water in. If you're wondering about the temperature of the water, it's, it's just... Yeah, it's just normal cold water. So I'm going to add in my water. And then next, I'm going to have to add in my glitter. So you're not going to want to fill it all full yet. You're going to want to add in your glitter next. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of everything. I'm just going to add a little bit of everything into my bowl. So I have my yellow glitter. Now I'm not doing a particular theme. You can kind of do that afterwards. You want a lot of glitter. It's actually quite surprising how much you want. You want an awful lot of glitter. The more glitter in this, it's actually the better. So I just got the cap off my dye. I mean, off of my glitter. Um, and there. I think we need a little bit more yellow. And in the end, it should look almost like a snow globe. So you can shake it around and it should almost like, just like go around the place. And I'm just going to keep adding glitter until my jar is completely full. Also, don't be afraid to add different colors and different types. I'm going to be adding a lot of different types of glitter. But yeah, 
different types and different styles that are actually good for this because um, you actually kind of want like a rainbow effect. At least that's what I'm going for. And then I think I'm going to finish it off with, how about, a little bit more yellow. Now we might need to add more glitter at the end, but I doubt it. Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to get your dye. So as I said, I have my dye, and I'm going to be using a cloth because I don't want it to get all over my hands. Um, so I'm going to take my dye. I'm just going to take the cap off, set it down, and then I'm probably going to do a few drops of dye into my thing. I'm just going to, I am my jar and then, and then I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take more water. Brim. I'm going to set it down. Oh no, I spilled a bit of water. Let's just clean that up. And yeah, so you have your jar, you have your glitter at the top. It almost looks like a big, big version of Earth. <laughs> and so I'm going to, um, so this is what it should look like. And so yeah, I'm pretty much going to take it and I'm going to put the jar lid on. I got some glitter on it when I was putting some more on. I'm going to try and make sure it's as shut as possible. I'm going to take it and I'm going to shake it. And yeah, it should make it into a snow globe. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make my glitter jar. This was actually the very first um, DIY I created, so I wanted you guys to know how to do it. It's a perfect room decor and I will be showing you other things you can do with jars. So I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you might become part of DIY Dreams. Now um, until next time, bye guys!